Hey, quick audio check, quick check. Hello, good morning, good afternoon. I am late today. I I am like so annoyed, so perturbed right now. Because like, as I said yesterday, I got a new um, capture card to capture my camera. But like because of that, I had to do a couple workarounds to like get the audio to work. But like it, the workaround didn't work today. So... I spent the last like 40 minutes trying to figure out why it wasn't like capturing properly. So we're going with the old method where I'm just listening it to my or listening to the game audio through my TV, which is fine. It's fine, but like not ideal. It'll be okay. It'll be fine, you know, we're here. We made it. I, I was so close to just like bailing, so I was like, I don't want to deal with this today. But we're here. I'm actually going to zoom out the cam a little bit. My head is getting chopped off. Okay, I think that's a little better. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. I also knocked my camera down by accident. And... Because, like, I was trying to, like, a do a different light setup. And in the process, because my cords are not placed very well, um, the cords got tangled and it knocked down my tripod. That was scary. Otherwise, today's been aight. It's been alright. <laughs> oh, I need to see what my weekly mission is. I mean, it's not going to be a, a harvesting one. Because... I'm not sure if there will be a weekly mission because we did took a take a two week one. There might be though. Oh, there is. Okay, cool. Okay, so we can either we can do both of these missions. I want to do the stone one. Yeah, because like I knocked my camera down. I was like freaking out. The worst thing that can like happen is if you crack the lens. The worst thing. But thankfully, she was fine. Nothing was cracked. She works. I like I bent the cord. 
that connects the camera to the capture card, so I was worried about that. Because, like, if it bends too much, then, are, then either it damages the actual, like, internal component of the camera, or it damages the core, but thankfully both were fine, so... That was a relief. Because I would have been ready to scream. <laughs> So then I guess this week we're going to be focusing on mining since we got to gather stone. Which was the plan anyway, I guess. Let's get to mining. There's not much really left I can really do for this season besides probably just getting money. I have no sprinklers. Cause like the only thing you can really do during winter is plant the forage seeds, the winter seeds. And then like my goal is to get enough material for hives and buildings. it takes a couple weeks to like gain enough like friendship with the animals for them to start like producing eggs in the quality product rather Uh oh, my Y button's not working as well. I think it's because, like, this controller is low key busted. Because I bought, like, a hard case one, although that was cute, but we couldn't get the screws out from the bottoms. So we tried to, like, screw it in as much as we could and then tape the rest. So, like, the components aren't, like, fully locked into each other. So I assume that's why it's been malfunctioning. But that being said, if I ever like fuck anything up, I can just say, oh, it's my controller. But actually, it's my controller. Instead it because like I have another tab open of the stream and it looked like it dropped and I was just like internally screaming. Because earlier this morning, the lights back here, there's two outlets in my room were not working. And they were out for like an hour and I was getting worried. Cause it was just two out I, I like I checked all the other outlets in our house and it's just those two outlets in my room. So I think I have I have like four outlets and then a few like surge protectors on a few of them. I only use three of them because the last one is kind of inaccessible. It was weird. As I said yesterday, there's been... 
there been hella windstorms and flooding because the rain. So, like, hopefully nothing else bad happens today. Hmm. <laughs> If we just get all a thousand stone today, that'd be pretty cool. And I moved the vase that was like in front of my energy bar, but I failed to realize that now something else is blocking the bottom of my screen. I have like a little like faux vine that kind of runs along the bottom of my cheek and it's blocking the item bar now. <laughs> Dude, I don't think things through. I'm really glad there was another weekly mission, because otherwise that would have been really sad. I mean, I would have survived, but still, it would have felt bad. It's also stressing because like my daily schedules are low-key off because I haven't biked since Friday and the biking trail that I usually use is still closed because of the flooding. And, like I could bike in like the neighborhood but like low-key I'm super scared of like but I mean I, I've never biked on the road mainly because like you're so much more likely to get clipped by accident on the road. Like, so, like, I'll bike on the sidewalk. And when I do that, I don't go, like, super fast. Like, I don't speed through driveways or anything. But still, like, worried about it. Like, you have to be a lot more, like, attentive if you're biking on, like, the sidewalk or the road. Which is not fun, because, like, I usually bike to, like, cool down. Or calm down, rather.
Okay. 9.30. Time to head home. I'm also really fucking tired today, too, because I was up till 2 o'clock. Um, watching K-dramas. <laughs> uh, I mean, no regrets, no regrets, you know. This is why, like, I usually don't watch shows because, like, I get too, like, invested where I'm like, oh, I can crank out two episodes today. And then two becomes three. And then, at that point, it's way past bedtime. It's mainly because, like, I really appreciate all art. Like, when I watch something, I have to, like, sit down and watch. Like, in my head, I'm thinking, like, oh, how they get that shot or that shot. That angle's cool. How they get those lighting effects. Oh, we got a bat stack of rocks. Not a lot of coal, though, unfortunately. Bench. I don't ever use the water retaining fertilizer. I think it's because I usually will try and get sprinkler set up first. I think you water retaining soil is more beneficial if you're doing the beach world, I believe. Which I haven't tried yet. It's so weird having my hair down because <clears throat> I actually got like the right product to use I think like three months ago and it's like my hair is actually soft and it, like it feels good not scratchy. The reason why I don't usually wear my hair down is because like I don't like the feeling of like stuff brushing on my skin. That's why, like, I usually will wear, like, tighter fitting clothing. Sometimes I don't like the feel of, like, fabric brushing up inconsistently or constantly. But now that my hair is actually, like, taken care of, like, it actually feels good. I look you wish my hair was like a little bit longer because I just love to look and shorter I like as long as people style their hair well like it'll look good you know I think I kind of want to go to the blacksmith and crack some of our ores that way we can hopefully get some money from any extra gems I even meet I also because we did the mission for the uh, bones last week. We should have a cutscene from the or I'm not sure if there is a cut. Damn god, might be maybe. I know we got a recipe. I think. Or not a recipe, a crafting thing. We got 250 stone yesterday, we can for sure get our... Our stone all done by the end of the week.
Okay, now we wait. I'm actually gonna go grab my water because I forgot to grab it earlier, so BRB in like 10 seconds. Is it nine o'clock yet? Ah, uh, ten more I am back. Let's see if we get anything good. I know there is um, a crafting recipe where you can build a machine that will break geos. It either costs wood or stone, I think, to go, which I'm, I don't want to do. I'd rather just paint. Oh yeah, you get hella coal from these. That's what I wanted to do as well. So we really need the coal. Some iron. Can we get some iridium? I don't know why I waited so long to visit the blackness because I've just been hoarding my ores since the start of the game. <laughs> Mainly because, like, to me, it's not really a priority. Like, I only really do it when I want, like, coal or ores and I don't want to go mining that day. y'all but like i always have my headsets on like the lowest volume and it's still really loud sometimes. i mean i guess it depends on like the audio mixing of whoever like mixed the content i guess i also appreciate how items stack in this game very nice. I appreciate it a lot. I think in my personal save, I'm missing only five artifacts. And they're all from the jungle, I believe. Because I've gone through most levels of the desert mine. Not in this city, but I'm impersonal. I wish there were an end to them, though. I really don't like the concept that they're infinite. Like, to me, like, it just feels pointless going into it sometimes. I mean, I only really go there to, like, get iridium. Because I like the grind. With the original mines to like, get to the bottom. Like, that was fun. I really don't like doing the geodes because like you're just pressing like a every five seconds like it's not fun 
I think that's another reason why, like, I hold off doing them for so long. My computer's humming. He's humming right now. <laughs> why are we getting hella iron? Oh, we got 48 coal? Fog. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to do more troubleshooting later to figure out the audio outputting issue. I'm not looking forward to. That'll be okay. Because I think today I was gonna do more clay stuff in the afternoon. I need to do more tests. Because yesterday and the day before I was testing different finishes, so like using varnish and stuff because I really don't want to use resin. Because, like, the only reasons you can get is Poxy, and then you- If he gives you cancer, so that's not cool. Like, Poxy, like, the margin of, like, error is very high. Like, you have to be very, like, particular. Your measurements and mixing and stuff, so... Like, I find that varnish is actually pretty good. It's not as, like, hard as resin. But it still gives like a nice glossy coat. Like you can't like press your finger into it. Like it will leave an indent. Which isn't cool. But also resin it bad. <sighs> but what's nice is that the varnish has just about the same glossy effect as resin does. That was nice. You might be able to get through all the geodes without maxing out our inventory. Five more. Last one. Okay, let's go. What's this? I don't notice this back here. I'm still mad that I put a yellow in the orange row. Like, I'm so, so mad at myself for that. Okay, let's see what we got. I can't really plant anything now. I'll grab those later.
Might be a green fish. Yep, catfish. Oh, I didn't get the chest. I'm gonna fish till my inventory caps. Oh, I didn't press it fast enough. Two more slots. Mm -hmm. Why is she sitting on the bridge? It's kind of sus. For the longest time, I thought Penny was like older, but like at the flower dance, she was dancing with that guy. So maybe she's like a fellow teen. Cause like it's okay. I I it didn't register because tutors the kids, not necessarily teach them. Cause like before, I've like made jokes about like oh, like why is she trying to like being a teenager, but maybe she's also a teen as well? That, that never occurred to me. Probably another catfish. You can go home now. Actually, let's see if the merchant is there.
Wait, I don't think Barney's here. Oh, she is. Oh, chickens are only 800? I didn't realize the animals were that cheap, I guess. I always keep the animal names default because I just think the random names are so funny. Lagabo. Lagabo. That's kind of cool. Or low. It's low cobo. Jazzy. I just realized now I don't have any money to buy anything for the merchant. Oh, why did I do that? Okay, so I think I'll drop off all the minerals and gems I got today. And then chop some wood in the forest. Oh my god, they're so cute. <gasps> I got a white hen! I've never gotten a white hen! I've always wanted a white hen. Okay, so we can swap out these wall eyes. Got one more tiger trout. Got shads in there. Got catfish already. So we can sell the rest. So chop some wood. get some more tappers made and started. What do we need? Wood copper bars. Let's get more copper bars started.
can also make more nerve jars too. I think that's a fair amount of tappers for now. Oof, now we got no coal, no coal. Bad day. Oh, I can't fit through there. Okay, cool. Okay, so tomorrow we definitely have to do mining, that way we can get enough coal or stone for the weekly mission. Time for bed. Oh. Okay. Mm. I'd rather do the wool faster.
Oh my god, they're so big already. <laughs> Oh, I just realized I'm not gonna be able to plant when it crops because this is the first year. Unless I find them and forge them. I mean, that's fine. It's because, like, I'm thinking so much into, like, late game. here. this area cleared out that way I can like properly plant trees. two rows of ponds down here. Like, maybe like eight or ten. That'd be nice. Because I think the ponds are like my favorite building. Time for the mine.
But that was a good double kill. Master Swordsman here. It's 10 o'clock, I gotta get out of here soon.
Okay, we didn't get exhausted. Locked out. It's probably two more days of mining for the stone mission. Hello, dear Miss Ali. That is really pretty. Thank you. I appreciate the compliment. It's feeling kind of feminine today. <laughs> oh dear, it's already midnight. Gonna get baked today. <laughs> I can't see your emotes. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Huh. Try refresh. See if that'll help me see him. Okay, now I can see him. Cool. Oh my god, they're so cute. Aww. <laughs> Oh, up 5k, nice. Have you played this game before? Is this your first playthrough? This is my third save I've opened. I have two personals, and then this is my stream save. Because I think in my first personal save, I got to year 5, and then I got bored. And then... I started a new save. And then for this one, it's just for stream, so I had to play it a couple times a week. Like, the only thing I haven't- or that I'm, like, not, like, too sure about is, like, the secret jungle world. I haven't had a chance to, like- because, like, it's so hard to get to. Like, it takes forever just to get to it every day. But have you played this game? You Stardew Valley Pro. I haven't had like the giant crops either. I mean, I know I could look through a walkthrough, but like I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> you got like six hundred hours. Oh my god. I think I've got maybe 300 in this game. I'll have to check it later. But I've got a lot. I can't wait to get an ob obelisk to that. I know, right? It costs so much money, though. Way too much. <laughs> I think in my personal, I have like. Let's see. I have like 2 mil or something. I know I got. What's her name? Pam? Pam? I got Pam a house. The dragon teeth. Oh yeah. That too. I haven't touched my 
personal saving ages. Like, I'll have to look at it. Because, like, I've opened it a few times, and I just get overwhelmed. <laughs> it's kind of like my Animal Crossing save. Like, I finally played it after the final update. Because I was like, finally, there should be, like, enough, like, substance to play the game. Because back in, like, April and May of this year, I think, like, I would play Stardew Valley when I get home from work. So, like, I'd play from, like, 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. every night just to de-stress. <laughs> so we're still gonna mine today because we need to get our weekly mission done. I used to ignore the weekly missions. Cause like, I was so focused on just building up the farm that I failed to realize that you get like, special cutscenes and stuff. Cause I usually don't, um, increase my friendship levels, like start gifting people until year two. Like year one I typically will build up my farm first. Same for me. Okay, I'm glad- I'm good that that's kind of like a good strat. <laughs> Cause like, I'll, I'll only really look at the wiki if I'm like completely stuck on something. Year one is for getting settled, the first winner is for reorganization. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, my goal is to try- I'm going there. My goal is to try and get like- enough materials to get the hive set up. And like, I will always set up my farm to be like the most efficiently out. Like, I don't care if it looks pretty or not. I've seen some videos of like some really nice, like decked out, decorated farms, but like, I'm like, I ain't gonna do that. Like, I want everything to be in a straight shot. Year three is maintenance one, etc. I always forget to upgrade the house. Like, in my most- my two latest saves, like, I forgot to, to upgrade the house in time. Like, I forget that that's the thing. <laughs> Blasphemy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, cause, like, in my head, like, I forgot that, like, I think the winery's, like, second to last upgrade or like the last upgrade you can get because i just thought you could get the nursery and that was the last one i usually go for the animal artisan route same i like crops are so <laughs> worthless in comparison to like the um, the artisan goods i will always pickle my crops Because, like, even the gold star crops, they earn more. They don't earn more, but, like, it's better to just preserve them. I think one of the best ways to make money, too, is during winter, is planting the forage seeds, or the winter seeds. And then get your forge level up to where like you get the highest quality items and then just make bank off of selling all the winter foods or the winter fruits which you can't really do with year one because you don't really get many forged items or not enough to make seeds i went to the beach farm for that reason small dirt area for crops lots of space for animals grass oh okay I was so he I like I wanted to start the beach save but, like I was so like hesitant about it because I don't know the like the um, actual logistics but like I know that the soil isn't as good so like what's the eff eff efficacy of like the sprinklers like do you still have to put the water retaining soil for the fertilizer or are sprinklers okay for the beach one because I wanted to start another save for the beach one just to see what it's like. You can't use sprinklers? Oh, frick. Oh, no. <laughs> I hate that. Oh, that's gotta suck. Oh, yeah, then for sure, beach is probably 
good if you're going for an artisan route. What if you had a farm that was just barns, no fields? Or in your fields, just do the wheat? I wonder how much like money you can make. But I am so glad that you told me that you can't use sprinklers on sand, because if I didn't know that, I would have like rage quit and <laughs> never do the beach one. We can take 8 or 12 iridium sprinklers with the crops, greenhouse, and that's it. Okay. So I assume you found this stream because you like Stardew Valley. So do you like- I know for me, I like watching gameplay of games I can't play. Like, I usually don't do, like, first-person shooters or, like, anything, like, too high skill because just my motor function, I swear, is limited. So I usually don't watch Stardew Valley gameplay. But do you like watching people play, too? A farm full of pigs would be awesome, but need auto-petters because that would be- There's auto-petters? I know there's auto-collectors, but there's a thing as auto-petters? Is that a thing? Is that like an unlockable- that sounds like an, un an unlockable recipe because I've never heard of an auto petter. Like for the farms, <laughs> sometimes I just won't put fences or like I'll keep the door locked because I don't want them roaming too much and because it's so much easier to pet them off they're all indoors. Auto petters are hard to get- okay so they are a thing, okay. Hmm. I like Stardew Valley to get ideas and also watch new players fall in love with me. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> yeah, when I started playing this early this year, like, I was obsessed. It's mainly because, like, I really like repetitive mechanics. Because, like, it's really easy to pick up. Like, it's not too difficult. And, like, I like games where there's, like, a timeline. Or, like, a goal. Where you gotta, like, grind to get stuff done on time. I also find it funny because, like... In the game, like, you you want to, like, keep uh, working till, like, 2 o'clock, right? That way you can maximize your day. But then, like, IRL, like, I just fuck around. <laughs> like, stay in bed till 10. Get ready. It's so funny how, like, I try and be so efficient in game and then IRL just mess around. I can guarantee you get them if you go to the JoJo rounds, but there is a tiny chance of getting them as a drop in the spell caverns. Oh. Okay. That's probably why I've never seen it then. I've never tried the JoJo route. I wanted to start a save just to see what it is. Or like maybe watch like a cutscene video on YouTube. I'm playing on my Switch. I have a Pro Controller here. I don't have it on desktop. Or PC, rather. Like, the mechanics for PC seem so weird. Like, point and click. Weird to me. Also, because, like, my laptop is only so limited. Or rather, games on the stream. I know, like, if I try to play, like, a laptop or PC game, it would <laughs> make stream bad. <laughs> okay, it's 7.40, so I probably have enough time to do one more level. For PC, you now you can access all eight tiles around you versus on Switch where it's hard and possible to get to corners. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I might probably try the PC version like on my own time to see what it's like. I was talking to my friend about it. 
and we were like, you know, PC gaming feels like you're working. <laughs> you know, like hands on the keyboard and mouse. It feels like a job. And I was like, oh, this actually perfectly explains what it like what it's like. And I like some of the mods. I use a lot of reskins that make the dirt less yellow, for example. Okay. I've thought about, like, if I do try the PC, I do want to try add some mods. I know there's some really cute ones. I know there's some to where you can befriend some of the NPCs. Or some of the non friendable ones in game. Like the Joja Sherp Clock. The Joja Shop Clerk Lady. Think. Okay, let's get out of here. It's already 9.50. <laughs> to turn my dinosaurs into brontosauruses with their little heads hook up above the grass. <laughs> That's gotta be cute. My farm is a mess right now. I'm still figuring out like how I want to set everything up too. Oh, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Let's see. I'll show you my 100% farm one day. I make 20, 30k per day with animal stuff. Ooh, pretty nice. Yeah, I'll definitely check it out. So do you stream too then, or? Oh, I don't need the geode in there. Okay, so probably ready for the next day. So that's the rest of this week is just gonna be mining. That's all we can really do for now. I do it not as often anymore due to personal stuff going on, but yeah. Oh, that's cool. When do you usually stream? Um, I'm in the U.S. West Coast, so it's 12.40 for me right now. And more often on my friends' streams playing multiplayer games with her. <laughs> that's nice, though. Like, I would like to do multiplayer stuff. Oh, frick. But, like, it's hard to- Because, like, I just play on my Switch, right? So, like, the only multiplayer game I can really think of was, like, Mario Party. But, like, no one wants to play Mario Party. Or, like, they only want to play for a day. And it, it's a bummer. East Coast, New York? Okay. Lots of East Coast frogs. Yeah, like, I would stream in, like, the evening. So like maybe like four or five p.m. But like I hate streaming when like everyone's in the house, you know? Because they already tease me for like just streaming in general. So. Among Us. <laughs> I've never played Among Us. Like I really wanted to, but like I wasn't as online when it first like popped off. But, like, I think Among Us is what actually got me into Twitch, like, watching Twitch content. Because, like, when I was popping off on YouTube, like, I, I'd go back and watch the streams. And that's when I, when I became, like, a Twitch head. 
It's better with a group of friends. We did Gartic Phone the other day and it was awesome. I I would love to play Gartic Phone. It seems like it's it's either super fun to play with people who are not good at drawing or like super fun to play with people who are like amazing at drawing. Because a lot of my friends, they just like to be like shooters, and I, I'm not good at shooters, so. Do I need to deliver the stone? I think I need to deliver it. Oh, I just need to gather it. Okay, cool. How many more stone did we need? Not a lot, right? Oh yeah, just just 59. Almost said 69, but would have done the math wrong. One of the people who play with is a cartoonist. I also draw kind of well. Most others are bad, so yeah, that was fun. Oh, that was so cool, though. I love watching, um, if you're familiar, like, Rubber Ross's YouTube videos of his Gartic Bone videos. Like, oh my god. They're amazing. Because <clears throat> just, like, because he gets, like, a lobby of, like, professional or, like, like good artists. And just the renderings. Because, like, to me, good cartoon work, like, it has to have a lot of expression. With like limited, I guess, rendering in terms of like line work or coloring, shading. So you have to have a really good understanding of like form, shape, when you're doing fast renders. Like I had a, not a phase, <laughs> but like a period in time where like I was trying to learn caricature. Like I bought a book and I did a couple sketches and stuff. It's it's cool to see how there's like a method the most art like it's all technique based and still I think a lot of people don't realize like you do have like an inherent like I guess skill for it, but that skill can de be developed over time and with practice. Cause when I work I worked at a daycare for a few years. I worked with kids six to twelve. And like, I would draw and stuff. They're like, oh, can you draw this? And I'm like, okay. And like, oh, you're so good. Okay. But when you're that young, you don't. Like, you think like everything is good at that point. You're like, you just draw like a shitty little doodle. And like, oh, that's like the best thing I've ever seen. And <laughs> it's so cute. 100%, yeah, yeah. Okay, what, what did we get it? Let's go. Yeah, the rest of this month, I either want to... I definitely need to clear out the forest area, get as much wood as I can there before winter. And then maybe fishing and a little bit more mining, because we do need more coal. For the preserve jars. There's a few clips on her channel of our drawing. Her account is Lemony Sins. Okay, I'll have to look that up later. Oh, frick. I'm not good at combat. I suck at the later levels. Right now I'm just grinding for more coal. I think it's it's fun to go into smaller people's streams. Like going to like the zero viewer like on the discover tab. Mainly because like I understand the importance of just like one person showing up and talking to him. Cause like, I'm very much like a Twitch chatter, like, I like being in other people's chats and stuff. Mainly, I- cause like, I- I will test- I will test like, jokes and bits in chat. Talked about this yesterday. But it's like, you can kinda see what everyone's like, tolerance is in terms of like, how much you control them. 
Because, like, my humor is, like, edgy a little bit. Very, like, sarcastic or verbally ironic. Like, I like baiting and trolling in chat. It's all in good fun. Like, I'm not being mean. Like, I just think it's fun to, like, clown on people a little bit. But it, it's fun to see, like, what jerks, what jokes work and what don't. Like, test the waters a little bit. That's how we all start out. Yeah. I think a lot of people, too, that are just starting, they don't realize the importance of, like, quote-unquote networking or, like, just being in other people's streams. Like, people who just, like, turn on stream and then, like, are offline the rest of the day. Like, not engaging with other small creators, I think, is not, like, how you grow, I guess. Because a lot of the people who... Because I will typically... Or I have been pretty consistent, actually. Like, I will stream, like, weekdays. And, like, the people who usually come back are, like, people who I engaged with in, like, other chats or, like, other channels. I mean, because, like, people won't necessarily stay for the gameplay. Like, they're going to stay for your personality for the most part. Okay, my thing... I had to refresh, I was like, oh. <laughs> Internet's been kind of spotty, so let's hope she doesn't crash. Yeah, I'm not good at talking by myself, but having someone to talk with makes me fun. I know, right? Like, I I have such a bad habit. Like, if I don't have anyone in chat, like, I'll, I will definitely be more quiet. I think because, like, I'm just very quiet in general. Like, when I'm hanging with the friends and stuff. Like, if I have someone here, like, I will gladly bounce off of anyone. Mainly because, like, I think I don't want um, streaming to ever be, like, a full-time thing. Because that is not, like, a reliable source of income, right? But, like, I mainly am just doing this to, like, just being used to talking to I guess. Because, like, having an online presence is low-key so important now, in terms of, like, the job market and stuff. And being able to market yourself is also good to learn as well. I agree, yeah. Um. Not that, like, I want to be an influencer, because that's cringe. <laughs> um. I think just having, like, a small network of people is really nice. I also, like, don't know how to, like, post and stuff. Because, like, on all my different platforms, I have, like, a different thing, which I know is not good for marketing. Like, it's kind of like how big creators have different accounts for, like, clips, or different accounts for, like, gaming, and then stuff for vlogs. Like, I think right now, on IG, I have art and drawing, which I haven't posted in, like, two months, because I haven't really been drawing, but, you know, that's fine. We all love art blog. And then Twitter is just, like, ramblings and then tiktok is like mini covers so like i know i should have like separate accounts for different stuff but like i think right now like i just want to make stuff because like i've always been a creative type like right now for art stuff i'm working with polymer clay because i'm trying to make earrings right now like, trying out different techniques, different finishing techniques, different baking methods, that type of thing. Like, I haven't really been posting those as much because, like, I'm still learning how to do it. I think my favorite art medium to use is India ink. Mainly because it's waterproof, so if you're doing line work, you can do your line work with India ink, and then go over it with like watercolor or, pe or color pencil. It comes out really good. Because it doesn't bleed. I can never get into clay stuff, not my thing. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's like, working in 3D is a, lo a lot harder than people realize. I do digital, I mean, I, I've tried digital. <clears throat> I think like, I'm still learning 
like how to blend with like paints and stuff IRL so like it's kind of hard for me to like grasp digital art because like it's similar in terms of like technique but also not you know what I mean a lot of like normies who don't do art don't realize that digital art is still just as hard if not more difficult than traditional art like you don't just click buttons and then something appears right you still need to like you can't just buy like a nice brush set and expect your textures to come out amazing every time you still need to know how to use those brush sets know how to use color form with digital art is a lot more forgiving so you get rid of things easier i know like i've been clicking undo all the time <laughs> Anyways, have to go, but thanks for streaming. Oh, thank you. Hope to catch you again soon. Yeah, I appreciate coming in and chatting, even for a little bit. I really do. I'll make sure to check all your stuff later. Dear Miss Allie, hope you have a great day. Oh, I need to eat something. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate you. Bye. Okay, it's already 10 o'clock, so I can maybe clear out the rest oh, of this level. Or the end of the day, maybe. Okay, what's important is that we did finish the weekly mission. So as usual, I'm probably only going to do two more days in game on stream. So probably going to be live for maybe 40-ish more minutes. I'm still annoyed that I was late today. Like, I'm so perturbed still. Mainly because I'm not looking forward to troubleshooting everything. I honestly don't mind listening to the audio from the TV. Like, that's not too big a deal. But it's still kind of, like, disappointing. Because, like, now that I know what, like, it sounds like through headsets, it's it. It's the headset. Not too big a deal, though. See if I can build anything. I think for hives you do need coal. Yeah, you do need coal and iron bars. Okay. I make a few then. Maple syrup. Yeah, so I think I'll focus on using the rest of my coal for beehives for now, because I have an adequate amount of, what you call it, preserve dress for now, because I'm not going to build more until I have my shed built, because transporting them is going to be a hassle. Well, I made two, sad. Sad day. Yeah, I kind of want to see if I can buy the shed tomorrow. We actually need for the shed. I wrote them all down. That way, I can start transporting my preserve jars. Fifteen k. Okay, dude, that's a that's a lot. I didn't realize it was that much. Oh, we got enough. Okay, cool. But still, that is quite a bit. Ooh, 
Ooh, did we get stone chest? Stone chests are pretty cool. I mean, they look cuter than the wood ones. To be honest. Got eggs! Dude, I just fed all y'all. I'm just checking something really quick. Yeah, because... That wasn't showing on the screen. I didn't notice that till now. Yeah, I don't think there's any way for me to refresh it. I don't really love tech issues. <laughs> so, I want to put the shed over there right next to the greenhouse. We can work on clearing that out later before we go to the mall. Yeah, I think during winter I'm going to work on clearing out this area properly. That way I can get ready to grow fruit trees. I mean, because I was, was going to say I should really get those trees started, but since I have the bat cave, I don't have to worry about getting fruit for the comp center because it's most likely going to spawn in the caves. Okay, there should be enough space for the shed.
Okay. I can't sell my scarecrow. Lex, I hate the fucking scarecrows. Not really that effective anyway. Yeah, so I think tomorrow I'm gonna clear out the forest area. And then today mining. Saying that it costs fifteen K. Okay, right there. I still need to bring him a melon.
Dude, how'd that guy climb over the rocks? Usually don't do that. That guy's hacking. Time to go home. We got some wine. Here, Dave, look, you want to skip it. The only thing you can get is the pumpkin. I mean, we can't get the pumpkin to be up, up okay. Yeah, let's go get this stupid pumpkin. I'm gonna put the eggs in here for now. Can we buy anything? Nah, we don't need any of this. Let's go get that pumpkin. Okay, I got stuck. I got stuck. Let's go.
Hey, let's go home and sell this baby. Let's see how much we get for that pumpkin. Only twenty five hundred? That's like nothing. That's disappointing. Okay, last day of fall. So today we're gonna work on clearing out the forest area. And then um getting ready for winter. I definitely need to make sure I buy more feed today. I think I kind of want to save for an auto feeder as well. That way I don't need to waste money and time on a milk pail. I think the auto feeder is 25k. Let's go to the forest. You'll see what she's got. Ooh, puffer fish, yes. It's good, that's really good. Squid, yes, that's really good. Oh, dude. This is good, this is a really good haul. Because then I don't have to worry about... Um... That's why I go far, too. I don't have to worry about RNG. Puffer fish are so hard to catch.
I just make sure I check the bat cave today too. That's what I need to do. Turning my head because, like, I low key like the feeling of hair on my neck. It's so soft. Like, I'm not used to it still. At all. plant trees oh my god will they grow though oh I can only plant them in these areas okay I thought we couldn't plant out here let's see if these grow I, oh my god if they grow that's amazing Like, that's gonna be a massive help. place tappers out here too. I don't think I've ever tried it. Oh, game froze for a second. I'm also kind of worried because since going into winter, I'm not sure if certain saplings will grow. Maybe they will. If not, more cheese will come, so I don't gotta worry about wasting too many seeds.
Okay, time to head home. Oh, I forgot to buy feed. Oh no, no. Badge. I think I'll put the orchards over here and down there. Okay, so I need to take two things out of here. There we go. Oh, we have two puffer fish already. Okay, so next week is going to be the first day of winter, so we will need to find out our weekly mission, and then that's basically it, and then just focus on grinding up materials and money the rest of the season. So I think what I want to do is when we go for the weekly mission, we go get some geos process, that way we can get some money. And then have enough money. Maybe buy some feed on the way home too, if I can remember. But yeah, we're ready for next. Week. I'm just putting this in my inventory so like I know what I'm gonna do next. I know I will. They want to go. Let's save here. Okay. Oh my god, my knees hurt. <laughs> um, yeah. So today was actually... It was alright, more of like a chill weekend game because I was just focusing on grinding materials, but that's basically what winter's gonna be as well. So, I mean, year two is gonna be nice. That's when we have like our animals and like feeders set up, then we're like, we can actually start making the bank and like set up the farm a bit more. Um, so well, yeah. Thank you to anyone who came in today. We had a new follow, which was Dear Miss Sally. I appreciated chatting with you and I appreciate the follow as well. So I will be back again tomorrow, same time, 11 a.m. PST, continuing off of Garden Story. I think once I finish Garden Story, I want to do Eastward on stream, because I really want to play that game again, even though I only just finished it a month ago. So I honestly, I really love the story, so I think that's going to be the next um, RPG that we're going to do on stream. So, yeah, hope everyone has a great day. See you again tomorrow. Bye.